What's good YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Rodgers and I'm back in the video. And if you subscribe to today's title, today I'll be giving you guys six ways to style my air journal for a tope hazes. Now this shoe is literally my favorite shoe so far that I have in my collection. Um, it outweighs all of them, even my black hat fours, which I've done two videos on them already. I don't know what it is. This is the brown, the black, and the red. The detailing just goes insane. And today I'll be giving you guys six outfits to go with them. But before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, I do make fashion related content. So stick around and hit the subscribe button and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok at JadenXMonroe. But if you are a returning subscriber, make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so I know that you're enjoying my content. And just thank you so much for your support. So let's go. I do have six outfits, but two of them are variations of basically the same outfit composed of the same pieces, just switch around differently with the same color scheme or different shorts, pants, hats, etc. So the first outfit you guys have seen in my how to style graphic tees for spring slash summer, but I just altered it a little bit and made it a little different. It does compose of this red Houston Scott's Travis Scott type of inspired graphic tee that I did get from Culture Kings. I did get this in a size large and the only problem that I would say I have with this shirt is that it's not a large within width too much. It's basically going in length. Now I'm going to pair this with this utility vest that I did get from Forever 21 in 2020. Now the reason why I said I did switch this outfit a little bit is because I did end up pairing it with this hoodie. But I'm going to pair this hoodie with something totally different. And then the pants that I did get are these olive green snap cargo pants from Minimal. As soon as I got the pants, the bottom of the pants, the one of the snaps literally broke. And I was out this past weekend and I took a flick with these pants and the snap broke even more. That is very disappointing but however... We still move, it doesn't look too bad. When I don't have them all the way snapped and just let them flow kind of like a flare type of vibe, it actually goes really, really cool. So this is the first outfit. On to the second outfit. Now, like I said, the second outfit does compose of this Houston Scott's Red Travis Scott tee. And then I also got these cargo type of shorts from H&M. I'm gonna show you guys these because these are actually really, really cool. Um, the only problem that I do have with these is they sit right on top of the knees and I wish they were a little bit higher. But all you have to do is literally roll up the top and it'll fit perfectly fine. It'll go right above the knees. But if you scrunch up the top, just be aware that because you scrunch up the top, it's gonna flare out more a little bit at the bottom. So I think I'm just gonna keep them regular. You don't always need short shorts and I do already have another pair of short shorts. So I think I'm just gonna go with the regular wear of these, but they do have a zipper on the side with pockets right here and right here. And then you have your regular standard pockets on the back and on the front. And it does come with a button up slash zipper and a tie. So you have three different adjustments. Now, I think that I would pair this outfit with this black Carhartt hoodie that I did get from Amazon a while back ago. I don't know if I would because obviously it's about to be summer and it's gonna be 90 degrees to 100 degrees some days, but you never know. Like on those cool nights, we might just need a hoodie to, you know, warm up. So I might just always bring this along with me if I do end up wearing that outfit with this hoodie. And then I pair it with this tote bag, obviously to keep the hoodie in or, you know, whenever it gets cold and stuff, just to alter between the regular outfit without the hoodie. And then, you know, whenever it gets cold to put on the actual hoodie. Because of those two outfits, I do have a little obsession wearing red with those brown shoes. On to the next outfit, it does consist of this pullover champion hoodie that is all red, all the way red. Now it isn't extra large and I did get it a while back from somebody. Somebody gifted it to me and at the time I was only wearing smalls, but this is an extra large. Now because I think the brown goes so well with red, I did end up also pairing it with these gray dicky slim pants that I did from Tilly's. They're only about 20 to 50. Thirty dollars, I think twenty to thirty dollars. Now I did pair these two together only because so the gray can balance out the red and the brown. Now 
Now the fourth fit, this is probably my favorite fit out of this entire video and I actually plan on throwing it on very, very soon and taking some nice flicks. And if you do not know where I take my flicks out or where I post them, you can follow me on my Instagram at JadenXMarole. It will be somewhere on the screen. It'll be in the description box and I'm pretty sure I said it in my intro a couple times. Now this outfit does have a similar base to one of the outfits I already wore on my Instagram where I did have this Easy Money Clo green hoodie and then I did have my Boohoo Man brown cardigan. But it does consist of these light wash blue denim jeans that I did get from H&M. They are skinny and they fit really, really nice. They fit really nice. They're actually regular fit, not skinny. My, my fault, my fault. They're regular, they're regular fit coupe standard, which they fit really nice. They have that kind of relaxed type of vibe, but it just fits your legs so good. And then I also paired it with, oh, I, I paired it with this Boohoo Man checkered brown and like kind of light brown um, sweater vest. And then under is just literally just a white plain shirt. It is my certified lover boy Drake's t-shirt. I don't really have plain white shirts. I do have to go pick up some, but I put this on and it actually looked very, very nice. So I just went along with it and it blocked all the logos and it just has the white sleeves on the end. Now this fit is giving very monochromatic. The only thing is the blue jean. It actually balances out the fit really nice and it ties in with the white on the shoe and from the shirt. I did pair this fit with this brown Ferrer. Don't I say the brand, but it is Ferrer. It is a Ferrer hat. Um, it is a small brand that I did pick up on Instagram. It's kind of like that chucker hat type of vibe with the rope on the front, but it's not so much chucker. Instead of the chucker type of vibe at the top, it is basically just snap back at the back and then it's just regular cloth. The top is very, very pointy, more pointier than regular fitted caps. I don't necessarily like. When I put this hat on with the actual outfit, it looked so well and a lot of people were gassing me up on Instagram, so I might pop up with this fit. This is how it looks on. As you can see, like it looks very, very, very pointy at the top, but like I'm thinking I'm gonna make it work and just take a photo with it. Um, This is a really, really nice hat, very good quality. I think I only paid $40 for that. that is less than your average fitted come on and don't even forget it does have la and kind of like a fiery type of font which is very 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 cool and i think i don't know what type of stitching this is but the stitching on this is literally cool and it's literally insane so yeah forever brown cap did tie it all together with that outfit Now we are getting on to the two last outfits. Now this fifth outfit that I do want to speak on, um, I'm very iffy on this outfit and I don't know if I necessarily wear it um, out or take pictures with it, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys in this video because you never know, some people might like the outfits that you might not like. So I did pair it with these patchwork minimal denim jeans. Now these jeans are so heavy and they literally have crazy designs on it. They have a lot of fishnet designs going along both sides of the pants and the yellow stitching and very much just overlapped other jeans like like kind of like uh refurbished sustainable kind of jeans that's the type of vibe that it's going for but obviously minimal is a fast fashion brand so this has nothing to do with the sustainability at all i'm pretty sure everyone is known to that and very obvious to that and honestly i kind of regretted buying these because i had a different vision for it but the vision after i tried them on literally did not go well i did pay 60 dollars for these and i did get them in a size 31 i usually get a 32 but i can also wear 31 and i've been starting to get more of my pants in a 31. now i did pair it with um this jacket that i get from minimal it is kind of nylon material and it does have like um stitching on the outside making this nice little circle-y hourglass type of print it does have pockets and it does have a regular zipper now i don't really know what color this is this is giving like a latte type of color i have no clue but i think i'm gonna pair this with those jeans and the toby hazes and i might get a good fit with these i even might even pair it with the ferrera brown hat that i just showed you guys i have no clue yet but this fit is on on you know this fit this fit is on the fence um literally one of the bonus fits that i'm just gonna try to throw in and you know see what the audience likes and see what you guys like and see how you guys react to it honestly on to the last fit now the sixth fit that we are going to talk about this is probably my second favorite fit out of all six fits so let's get into it first off i did pair it with this brown um boohoo man official graphic tee it does say official and kind of like a cursive font and does have a sunflower in the middle now i think it's in a small because it's an oversized section in boohoo man usually when you get your shirts from boohoo man they do say oversized you want to get a size down because if you get your regular size it's over already oversized so you might end up getting a large in reality you should have got a small and in reality you thought it was going to be a medium i also paired it with these match workmen cargo 
pants that I did get from Amazon. Now, if you're not shopping at Amazon yet for cargos, pants, shirts, sweaters, hats, anything, you're literally sleeping on them. Amazon literally is the plug. Literally is the plug. And it's kind of better for the environment because other stores are selling through them. And this brand specifically is not um, a fast fashion brand. They do focus on sustainability and work with for all people around the world and stuff like that. So I think that's pretty dope. But these are like a light khaki and I think this worked really, really well due to being an off balance to the sneakers and tying it in with the brown shirt. Now, because I'm obsessed with flannels and I've been obsessed with flannels way before flannels became a thing in 2021, I did pick up this H&M flannel that I did distress myself. Um, I did wash it recently, so it is becoming fringed and frayed at the bottom, which is actually really dope. It is a little wrinkly because I did just take it out of the dryer, but I hope it did not shrink too much because I already cut it too short to my liking. But, you know, I always make stuff work. Like, I literally make everything work that I wear or put on, so I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, this was an extra large, and now it's probably fitting like a medium, and even cutting it is probably gonna feel like a small. But yeah, um, I tied it with this Uniform Studio Yankees cap. Now, the Yankees is upside down. Like, just look, just look at it. This hat is dope as well, just look at it. The hat is upside down. It does have Uniform Studios on the side, and it's a snapback. And it does have a lavender type of underbrim. Yeah, brim, that's what it's called, underbrim, or whatever. And then, it did come with patches that you can either iron on or stitch or wherever you wanna put your patches on. But I don't know if I'm actually gonna put the patches on or might put the patches on different hats. According to, you know, if I decide to buy more hats or not, but I'm trying to save my money because I've been going crazy. I've been going crazy. The next couple of videos that you guys are going to see, I will be, you know, showing you guys a lot of the summer pickups that I did get, including sneakers, because I did get some new sneakers. And I really want you guys to see that video, so stay tuned. For that as well now the only reason why i paired these two together obviously because this is navy blue and there's navy blue in the flannel so i think these two color contrasts with the all brown fit and the beige pants i think that it really really balanced out really really well and i also did pair it with the smiley face butterfly necklace that i did get from amazon i don't know where it is I don't even know if I left it where I was at when I went out the night that I wore this. I have no clue. Maybe when I try on the fits, I will be able to find it, but no clue. But that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the six outfits I paired with my Air Jordan 4 Tope Hazes. This is literally my favorite sneaker for the year, unless I get another pair of sneakers, which I don't think I am. We'll see we will see let me know in the comments what your favorite outfit was and let me know in the comments what you would have done differently or you would like to see me do differently but don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn that post notification bell because i am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2021 so peace